right now you are looking out over uh, the Joshua Dry Lake, uh, Dry Lake between uh, Copper Mountain College, and which is there's Copper Mountain over there, 29 Palms is off in the distance, and right there's a big dry lake. Sorry, over there is a big dry lake, and uh, this is kind of an, uh, an annual occurrence here during any kind of major storm. And I'm sitting here in a really spectacular place after a very spectacular storm. Hello, I'm A.G. Vasquez, and this is Maps and Legends. So, I am here today, and I'm looking out over what is a really wonderful um, view, and a place that is just so close to my heart, I can't even begin to describe it. Uh, I, uh, my kids and I call it Kingdom of the Rocks. Uh, it is known also as Section 6, um, and uh, uh, the Desert View Preserve by San Bernardino County. This area is one of the more remote parts of Kingdom of the Rocks, and as the sun is setting on a wonderful day today, and I'm going to get a panoramic view of this for you all because it's breathtaking, doesn't even describe it. After a spectacular uh, late winter storm we had here, um, I'm just, I had to come out here and take a look because this area, as I mentioned, is, is a, it's about to close down. And <clears throat> as far as um, uh, motor traffic and foot traffic, we're talking three or four mile hike out uh, um, on, on roads to get here. So it is accessible uh, once they close it. But I want to show you what's here because I can just drive it here with Henry who's over there. But look, look at where we're, look at this beautiful barrel cactus growing in. Oh my gosh, it's just... It's going to be spectacular as it gets older. And we have some other cactuses over here that are growing in. And just, I mean, this place is amazing. I came here 10 years ago. Oh, look at that. And actually more than that, I came here during Living on the Dime many years ago. And learned about it from uh, um, a man named Ethan Feltgess, who uh, used to own a coyote corner here in Joshua Tree, and Ethan told me about Section 6, and then another guy, um, um, Howard Gross, who worked for uh, uh, the uh, National Parks Conservation Association, um, Howard brought me out here the first time, so I've known about Section 6 for years, and when I moved out here, man, I tell you, I fell in love, I mean, if I could ever say I fell in love with a piece of land, it was right here in Section 6, so... Um, for so for years it's been open and you get there's spectacular and really wicked uh, four uh, four by uh, routes through here and I've come about two or maybe maybe two miles um, up the road <clears throat> and uh, it's actually Onaga Road off of uh, um, um, off of Coil Springs Road and I'm talking about this because again this is going to close pretty soon so if you have the opportunity to, to, to take a day trip through here in a particularly a high clearance or four by vehicle man you got to do it because it is just spectacular and so look at right here and this it's kind of a steep thing but you come down here and uh i, I came here in in in, uh, in in the blue mini my honda accord um that i got last year that is apparently determined to take me and henry wherever we want to go and so here's henry he's she's chilling with me today enjoying a nice walk and we have driven so today i drove um uh, from here in Joshua Tree to Hesperia uh, and then back here in the storm and it was oh, incredible I love storms so we got to see lots of flooding and the land moving around but I came home here and the sky started clearing and I said I gotta bring Henry to Kingdom of the Rocks and share it with all of you so once again so you know and you may wonder why is all this closing to vehicles? Because it's not really destroyed or trashed, or the road is pretty small, and it's been open for a long, long time. But uh, you know, folks have differing opinions about how land should be used. <clears throat> I'm one that falls on the side of, you know, if you're respectful and you come out um, and you want to take a drive out here, because for me, you know, uh, it's really beautiful. And, a lot of folks who wouldn't normally be predisposed to hiking, you know, five miles out here, three miles out here, would never see this land. I kind of liken it to the geology road tour in Joshua Tree. Actually, it's better 
<laughs> those of you that are Joshua Tree Park fans, I've been going out there for years, and the Geology Road Tour is a spectacular example of the geology of Joshua Tree Park. But it's not a spectacular example of the geology of the region. I've ridden a bike through there. I spent, I've actually spent a lot of time down there. Section 6 really is. And, you know, well, some of you might differ with me and say, well, you know, maybe we shouldn't have it open to vehicle traffic. I disagree. And uh, I feel like this area, you know, I've talked to mountain bikers. Love mountain biking. Those of you that recognize the term single track, this is single track heaven. Uh, and I talk to mountain bikers that are all the time that don't even know there's single track out here. They ride on this big, nice, nice road that's fit for a car or a wagon or whatever. It's basically wagon length or width. But there's single track that rivals anything that you're going to find in, in certainly the uh, Southwest. Spectacular single track. So this place is amazing. And so I can't say enough. Once they close it, and they're going to close it about a quarter mile into all of this, <clears throat> uh, you know, you'll still be able to access it with uh, hiking or on a mountain bike. And those of you that don't know about it, man, if you're a mountain biker, wow, come out. If you're a hiker, it's like Joshua Tree, no crowds, no, no, uh, none of the stuff that you're going to see at a national park that has a million visitors a year. This place is just, I mean, take a, oh, let's look at this real quick. I've been blathering on like a tour guide, but look at this. Right here, coming out right after the the beautiful storm we just had, the spectacular rain, and I'm walking down an old uh, uh, it's a four by road, but essentially a wagon path that cuts through here all the way to Twenty Nine Palms at one point from Joshua Tree. This is the old Onaga Road, and Onaga Road still you know it's paved and it runs all the way uh, out to the end of Joshua Tree actually. Uh, actually, to Yucca Valley. It runs all the way through Yucca Valley. So, miles and miles from here, y uh, Onaga ends. But right now, we're on this... Ah, I I want to wax poetic about it. I want to talk about it in in ways that, you know, you would you, you, you would speak about something that is just so deeply ingrained in you that you can't even find words for it. This is how I feel about Kingdom of the Rocks. And I want to share with you today, after a storm, after some beautiful, just spectacular... Uh, uh, the sunset, the rocks out here, the, the access you have by simply, and there it is, there's, there's Henry, there's the blue meanie hanging out there. Uh, you know, I am a big, big fan of, uh, people not driving cars, <laughs> you know, getting off your car and hiking, but I'm also a big fan of people just being able to come and see places where they wouldn't normally see and this, these little beasts do give us the ability to do that and I think about people who are handicapped people who are wheelchair bound or otherwise not able to make a three to five mile hike but could easily sit in a comfortable uh, modern jeep or a modern land rover and come out here and really enjoy this place it, it, open country should be open to everybody not just to those who are able to walk a few miles or to put their feet on pedals. And that's one of the concerns I have with closing off places like this. And what I kind of see is kind of a new enclosure movement. Those of you that are historically minded might think about what's that? Well, I was, you know, look it up. But Google enclosure movement. And closing off land to people with fencing and increasing um, uh, security and open spaces. It may seem like a good idea in the initial, but I I think that right now this place is so beautiful and so able to be enjoyed and so accessible that losing that access is really a loss for all of us. It may be a gain for a certain uh, constituency that lives around and around Joshua Tree in this area, but you know, and I don't think the animals mind. It's quiet and beautiful. There's nobody out here, and even when before they started doing construction out here this place you know was it wasn't very occupied or busy it's just a beautiful place to come and reflect and enjoy and just be a part of an environment that's not the hustle and bustle of joshua tree park or the morongo basin 
but it's just off a road that you can drive down. Over there are the San Bernardino Mountains, all snow-capped and beautiful. And as I look around and all this beautiful stuff. Now, I'm going to come back here. I'm always going to find a way to come back here. If i got to park on the other side of the rocks and hike in, I'm always going to find a way. But not everybody has that opportunity. And so I want to make sure people know about this. So come on, I'm going to invite you. Come on out before the gates close here at Desert View Preserve in Joshua Tree. It's off Quail Springs Road, Onaga. Quail Springs Road, you turn down a dirt road. It's beautifully graded. Come on back in. Check it out. Enjoy it. Enjoy what all this has to offer uh, for uh, probably the last spring that this area is going to be open to the public as far as vehicular traffic. Uh, you can come on out here on a hike and mountain bike. And, man, I encourage you, those of you that do mountain bike and don't know about this place, man, you are missing out because this place is spectacular for mountain biking. And for those of us that just like to roam and wander and to let our thoughts kind of connect with the cosmos and ourselves and Mother Earth, this is a place to be. There's not a lot of people. Not a lot of crowd. All you hear is what you hear around us. And it's a beautiful and blessed and really special thing. That in the airplanes. I'm A.G. Vasquez. Blessings.